We're going to cover how to program uh, the Eplex family of locks using our enterprise software via the M unit procedure. Uh, what I have currently on the screen here is our wireless 3.1 software. However, um, you're going to see several windows that are only open in a wireless environment. Uh, if you are running a full wireless system, you may not be using the M unit to program locks. So some of the things you see on the screen here may or may not uh, be available to you right now. Um, that said, basically the procedure for programming the locks via the M unit um, involves going to the door with a compatible netbook <clears throat> or laptop for purposes of lock programming. One quick little step is we're obviously making the assumption that within the software you have properly assigned uh, individual users or groups of users to a door prior to programming that door. Um, a quick little check you can do if you'd like is within the software you can either select the icon uh, right here or the option for access assignment and this basically will allow you to look at a door from a group you pick your individual door and when you select assign users it's just a quick little check to verify that the users are in fact assigned to the door you see on the left hand side you have available users these are users not currently assigned and then on the right hand side you will have your assigned users if you click on an individual user you would also see what schedule they belong to in this example here this user was assigned to the door via the access group once that procedure is done again assuming that you have properly uh, assign users to a door and you're ready to program it you're going to need to launch the M unit portion of our software and from the main screen of the software you select file you will select launch integrated PC M unit this will open a separate piece of software uh, that was loaded on your laptop uh, for lock programming and in our example we're gonna select all the sites but you can actually individually decide what doors you want to transfer over um, once the doors are properly checked, you'll select download. Software confirms the doors are downloaded and ready to be programmed. You click OK. You'll close this portion of the software. And then, now assuming you're actually at the door, you're going to select talk to lock. You want to program the door. And from your drop down menu, again, you'll find the door that you're ready to program. If you happen to be changing a door from a previously programmed door to a new name, you might, after selecting the door, need to select Edit and advise the software that you are, in fact, going to override the locks ID or change the door identification. Um, at this portion, um, or at this point, when you're ready to program the, software, the lock, you also want to make sure that the purple IRDA, the programming device, is plugged into the USB port of your uh, laptop or netbook. And a quick little check if you want to make sure it's properly working, in other words, the driver was properly loaded. If you go to um, My Computer and select on Properties and launch the Device Manager, you should see it pop up right here. I already have it plugged in and it shows up as the USB infrared adapter so once that thing is plugged in and you're ready to program a door you'll select the door you're ready to program you will at the locks keypad put the lock into programming mode that is done by pressing the pound number the existing master code of the lock followed by the pound key again 900 the pound key again which puts the lock into programming mode and then you'll select program. Uh, this will error out because I'm not actually programming the door, but what you would see is uh, this transaction would be uh, viewed right here showing it's properly programming the door and sending the users, and you should be all set from there.